Hi everyone, I'm on page today and I've got some vague idea what I'm going to do. I want to start building up a paint layers until I get some dark a background and we'll see what happens. I'm starting with these two almost neon colors and again this is layering. I want this to be underneath and build up and these are the paints that I've picked. I, I'm not sure yet if I will use them all. I just know that this is the start and I don't have <laughs> names. These are all from the cheap store. These, are, these two are not, but just things I've picked in all kinds of places. And this is magenta. This is a dark purple and another one from the cheap store. Really doesn't matter. So I'm going to start with this uh, neon pink. I'm working on, this is a watercolor paper. I'm using it just because it's durable. And this is an art journal that I just uh, picked all kinds of papers I had in uh, pads and just uh, combined them together and stitched and that's it. Bind so I will have uh, all kinds of papers to work with. So I'm taking a soft brush and with a little bit of water dipping into this neon pink and I'm just going to put it on my page and I don't care where it goes. Let's take a little bit more and it's not a great acrylic paint. It's already a very runny and I don't care because it's just going to be underneath it all and what I'm aiming is that it will pick through in several places and just give a little bit of light to a dark page that I'm planning. So moving on to this uh, orange and once again, I'm just putting it on with a lot of water and we'll see what happens. <laughs> this can turn out horrible. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to move to the other uh, paints. I'll be back. Okay, moving on. I'm going for the magenta again. My brush is wet and this is a more heavy bodied acrylic paint. So I'm putting on a lot of water and now I'm going on top in several places, not overthinking it. I want the neon pink to and the orange just to pick through and in other places I want them to enrich and this layer of magenta yeah almost covered everything with the magenta and now I'm dipping again and I want several areas to be darker and once again I'm going to let this dry before I continue to the light blue and as you can see you, you have still I still got the neon pink the orange here peeking through and in other places it just well like shines through the magenta so I'm really hoping that I can layer this and still have something uh, nice <laughs> without covering everything with opaque acrylic paint so again this needs to dry I've got here too much okay I'm going to let this dry and then continue to the next color. And I'm back and I really love this 
<laughs> background, uh, it would probably uh, work great for something else. So I will have to repeat it, but that's not what I, I planned. So I have to go on and be brave and use the other colors. I wanted to get dark and it's always uh, <clears throat> trying to keep a balance between what to cover and, and what not to, but we'll see. So dipping in, into this um, light blue and just going again. This can turn horrible. I'm brave. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm keeping at it and adding the light blue. And still I want some of the original uh, colors to peek through. I'm dipping uh, also into the magenta, so I'm getting some kind of purple color. Okay. And now I'm going in with the dark purple. And once again, I'm going to add water. It's quite thick. Okay. This uh, purple is going to go on top of most of this page. That's going to be the general color of the background. And I just want all the other stuff to pick through it. Not sure yet, and it can still be it can still look different when it's dry, so we'll see, and we'll see what happens. Too much. I'm just picking part, some of the paint with a baby wipe. As long as it's not dry, I can still work it. And remove part of it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, here I just want darker edges so I'm not even uh, adding more water just going around to darken the edges of my page and all this is just background we haven't started <laughs> I haven't started yet on any other stuff I'm trying to uh, add this without making too much of um, hard edges so I keep tapping it so it would blend with the rest that's it I'm going to leave, uh, leave it to dry and then we'll continue I'm back so finish this is uh, almost completely dry this is the uh, baby wipe I've used before and I just used it to wipe the excess paint I had here. Don't throw it away. I w I'm going to uh, show you what you can do with it. I'm just uh, 
folding it so it would be easier to uh, cut st strips out of it like so and now you have interesting lovely ribbons to use and I will show you here is a tag here are the ribbons just through the hole and ta-da how lovely this is so no throwing <laughs> this kind of thing okay so I've got my background and <clears throat> what prompted this was that I wanted to use uh, this stencil of a, a lighthouse. I got it uh, from a friend in Happy Mail. And let's see, where do I want it? If I want it to the right, to the left, I'm not sure. Let's go with the left. Okay, so I've picked all kinds of uh, paints here. I've got some white, some all kinds of grays, uh, some uh, gray with a tint of blue, some, this says, bead blue whatever or hydrogena and I've got all kinds of grays and silver and even pearl white I'm not sure I'm going to start working on it <laughs> so I'm going to start with the white like so I need a makeup sponge where did I put it let's see okay makeup sponge starting with this dabbing the excess and starting with this and this will probably need more than one coat always when stenciling light on dark you will probably need more than one coat so right now as you can see I'm just stenciling with the white and I uh, took the other uh, colors so I can have variation and more interest I don't want it flat I want to give it a, a little bit more dimensionality so uh, let's see let's pick the really light gray I'm putting a little bit here and even mixing it with a little bit of white and I'm going inside like so and now I think I will add a little bit of this grayish blue color dabbing excess Let's see, uh, I can even add a little bit more, right now it doesn't really show. So now I've got a floating in the air lighthouse that I need to uh, put on something and I've picked another stencil, this one is from Stamperia and I thought it would make some like the rest of this uh, rocks, whatever, that I have here. So I'm thinking that I'm going to stencil it like this. So again, I'm going for the white and only uh, later I will add more uh, colors. So again, I will, it will look more dimensional but right now I want to put on the white so I can see <laughs> where things are going and I'm not even trying and uh, going for the next layer just as I said I want to see where uh, everything is placed and then I will start 
a playing with the colors like I'm uh, stenciling here and I've got lovely big rocks but here I've got smaller ones that I'm not sure about them so I can just move the stencil and decide on stenciling a bigger rocks but right now I'm just keeping at it because still I've got some uh, big rocks here yeah maybe this one also and now I think I'm going to change and stencil bigger ones maybe I will even mask what I don't want I don't know yet and mask I'm a just a I'm a <laughs> again got stuck I I mean to just put masking tape and so it would be easier to stencil where where I want and just mask what I don't want that's it like this if I don't want to go in, into other places like so so I'm going to continue uh, doing this and then I'll come back okay I'm back and now I'm just going to add some highlights and <clears throat> Just with a brush, I'm going to tap into those rocks I've made and add a little bit of white in several places. And I've thought about using the, the stencil, but since I've switched uh, each time between the shapes, uh, it just... I can't remember which one I've used uh, each time so I figured I'll just add some highlights where I think they are needed nothing to it and it doesn't even have to be precise it's rocks all <laughs> so it really doesn't really matter the only thing that matters is that you are satisfied with the outcome it doesn't have to be realistic if you want it realistic take up photography <laughs> I remember someone told me once I made one an art journal page and <clears throat> sorry I had a flower a something like this here and some writing and this person said why is the flower uh, floating and <laughs> I just said well it's like a decorative element to the page it doesn't have to be grounded in anything and if I wanted a real flower then I would take up photography <laughs> <laughs> I think I was rude <laughs> but what can you do so got some uh, highlights so I'm dipping now to the gray and just adding randomly in several places just so I will have a more dimensional rocks and not flat ones like I've done with the lighthouse and I'm also letting it mix with the white just for added interest so I'm really pleased with how uh, the background uh, turned out this layering of paint that is thinned down with water so big hit there not sure where this page is still going I'm thinking about maybe adding a moon here 
haven't thought this uh, all the way I just want just knew I wanted to use the lighthouse and I knew I wanted a layered painty background that's the only thing I can call it <laughs> so uh, I'm not going all uh, on top of all the rocks uh, as you can see they have variation in the color uh, because it's white on dark background uh, and it's only one layer then I already got some variation in in the color so I'm just adding where I think it's needed not going over everything I really like this grayish bluish color so I'm just adding it to some of the rocks let's see taking a step back and let's see maybe here a little bit and I'm also going outside the lines if you can see it, it doesn't have to uh, stay the same as I was stenciling it it's rocks do whatever you want <laughs> so not sure I think we'll go for some kind of moon. Okay, so I need to cut some circle. Let's see, I've got a three inch circle punch. Let's see if the size will be enough for this uh, page. Some white paper. Yeah, I can live with it. So, I'm just going to put it here and I'm going to use the same colors I've used. And just tap. And I'm switching between the colors, the white, the gray. It would probably be easier with the sponge. Why am I making myself do things like this? Okay, let's take a little bit more white. Just sponge and... Okay, this is faster. And it looks better. Letting uh, the whites and the grays mix. Let's see. Okay. This looks lovely, yay! So I'm going to let it dry and then I will adhere it. The only thing I want to do uh, to this page, and I've got some white here, so let's cover it with a little bit of the purple that I have here. Here we go, magic, it's gone. So, I thought about uh, putting some words not sure yet maybe later and the only thing I'm doing is taking uh, this neon a uh, highlighter whoops of course I will get into the wet paint and I'm just adding it here to the lighthouse and just like 
as if the light is spilling and reflecting on a little bit on other surfaces that's the only <laughs> why I'm doing it and as I said I'm going to let this dry and then I'll uh, adhere it here and while this is drying I will think about the words I really wanted I thought about journey and or adventure or something like that. I don't know why a lighthouse is a uh, that's what it is for me but we'll see I'll be back I'm back and the moon is in place I found a sticker that says dream and on uh, it was in a very awful color so I just gessoed it and now I'm just adding a little bit of the same highlights in several places as if again this uh, it's like the light from the lighthouse is reflecting on it that's it that's my page I really like it I really like this background and I'm leaving it be <laughs> not touching it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now